After a month of sanding for four to six hours a day, the sanding, sanding is finally done. You know, now we're putting on six coats of West Systems Epoxy. And you just got to keep going around and around and around until you get all six coats on. So, if you ever heard the saying, you'll sand your boat one time, you'll pay somebody the next time, that might be true. When you, when you buy and buy the paint, don't go to West Systems and buy their $130 gallon paint. You got to go, like this is made by Interlux. And this, what's this called? Nautical Super Pro Guard. It's, it's like 44%, 50% copper in it. It's the same price. The stuff from this, I think, I think it's this. This stuff is like 20% copper, 22%. And you can feel the difference in weight. This thing doesn't weigh as much as that. And look, when you look in here, you can see the red. See all that red? That's ground up copper in there. And then as you paint it, you mix it. Mix it because that copper will sink to the bottom. You wanna mix it and then you pour it in your pan. And that way you keep a good consistency of copper. bolt left to pull out take that bolt out right there and then this here has to come off of the shaft and then I can pull this shaft out and then she's out so I had to remove a lot of stuff so you see that bracket they're usually metal brackets that go across that and then those pulleys set on the metal brackets but I have to clean all this room out there's a bunch of pumps to be able to get to that transmission and pull that transmission out back through this hole right here. So let's see how easy it's going to be to get this coupler off the shaft on this side. If it Hopefully it comes off as easy as the prop. Alright, so there's the first bolt on this coupler come off. It's always good on a sailboat when you get a bolt to undo because a lot of the times man these bolts are seized up to the point to where it won't come off and you'll have to cut it off or this or that. So good. So far so good. Let's try the bottom one. <clears throat> yep. She did it. And that's just rusty old boat, bolt. A lot of times these couplers, you just got to cut them off. You can't get it off. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting lucky. And then on here, you see there's, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a little uh, hose clamp right here. They put that hose clamp there because say your prop this this coupler comes off while you're going and, and this thing will spin out it'll pull back and stop that that'll stop your shaft from sliding out the bottom of your boat and cost you five thousand ten thousand dollars to buy a prop and buy a new shaft so that should stop it so you have you need to put a hose clamp right there at the back of the coupler. That way if it disconnects from that coupler while you're driving, it stops the shaft from flying off the back of your boat. Alright. And there it is. Look at that rusty, rusty bolts. Don't be banging on 
the bolt. Isn't that weird? One bolt's the head of the bolt's different size than the nut. I can do it. It wiggles. Oh man, that shaft is not going to want to just slide out of there. Mm. Look at that. this I see it goes all right you need a hand yeah this is not yeah, how you remove a cutlass berry <laughs> all right coming. yeah hold on uh, it's don't no it's only gonna go so far I gotta yeah, get, you my, get a coupling I gotta get the coupling off god damn that motherfuckers kind of tight on there isn't it should be. Nice shot. All right. Yep. Yeah. I didn't even get it all the way in there. It's a little short. All right, that's it. Thanks. Well, it's off. <sighs> the strut is off. Yeah. Look at that. That's as thin as that membrane was after they set it with the goop. It's just paper thin. It must when you tighten it down real tight, it squeezes it out. This is like a balloon. Look at that. Does that look like 5200? Look at that, it's like a, it's like balloon material. Feel that. Are you good? Yeah, I got So that material there is probably 4200. And, you know, I think what was going on is somebody had messed around with that strut before. And they didn't bet it right. Because you see how hard that was for that shaft to pull out. And as soon as I pulled that strut down, the shaft loosened up. So that strut to the very back of that hole, that plate right there needs to drop down probably about a half an inch to line up that shaft to where it's dead center of the two cutlass bearings so that's what's going on so now it's just about grinding all cleaning all that up and doing some fiberglass work there's a set screw right there so if anything's gonna break when it comes to nuts and this is the one so I'm just gonna put some tension on it if it doesn't want to come off I'm gonna put heat to it and try to get it to come out She ain't liking it. She ain't liking this. Nope, there it went. Yep. Alright. So she's loose. She can wiggle it back and forth. Kind of like this. Instead of trying just to go straight at it and tighten it out. Because when you get it, when you start doing it, Sometimes that rust will build up on that thread and you and it'll just bind up more and more as you take it out. So take it out some and then spin it. And then once it spins pretty easy, you can feel it. You can feel it when it's ready to come out. You 
see that doesn't even have to come out the rest of the way. That's just a set screw. All right, so I got this wheel pulley right here. It's not gonna work because there's no room. There's no room for it to slide. I don't have enough space to use that. So you can't whack a doodle on that thing. It's cast iron. You can't whack a doodle on it. You might be able to put some wedges on this. And spread that apart. You see how it has a line there? And that'll help spread it and it'll crack it. It might work. Might not have to use a wheel puller. But pretty sure I gotta find something that has a good wedge to that to see that pop. And it should come off. What do we got? Alright, so I got another wheel puller. Smaller. See these? Those shafts are too long, and this flange is long, is big around, so it's hard to get this to go over the top of it. Unless if I had a big one like this with a little bitty throat, like about like that, it'd probably fit. So there's another way to do it. So you know what to do when your wheel pulley is too long. You go ask your neighbor for a smaller wheel pulley, and just so happened he's got one that fit. So. Let's put, I got it on there. Let's see if she's moving. Yep. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's coming off. Alright. Yeah, it's off. Alright. Well, there it is. And she's off. And there's the key. All right. And she's off. So now, I really made a. What's that? That's the drip thing you put packing in there. Remember, I put. And then look at look how tight that packing did. And then it kind of lightly drips water through to lubricate it as it spins. Keeps it. That's how it keeps water from coming through. All right, let's go pull it out. She's out. Think it's straight? Let's go find a flat spot and see if she wobbles. That looks pretty straight. She's straight. She ain't been out. Of, she's not bent. So there's the grounding plates, and as they say. After I ground them down and cleaned them up, it says, do not paint. So there's just big hunks of copper. And they, uh, they go right there on both sides. And then the strut is right there. And then that's epoxy. So when you put the strut up there, you bed it into epoxy and you put some type of wax on the strut and then pull it away and then you can put 5200 or something for a sealant to keep it from leaking up through here but i think water has traveled i don't know up under this epoxy maybe i don't know and then the cleaning up there's the strut so it's got paint and stuff on it but you see how shiny that is on the top that's just 
that's from sanding it down with that with 60 grit and it seems to get it's doing a good job so I'm gonna sand all that down get it clean and maybe once I get it all done I might put prop speed on it I don't know it'll cost that prop speed cost around 300 bucks a I don't know half a pint or a pint I don't know it's expensive